So both of you are travel around the world, um, teaching Aikido seminars in Europe, in America, South America as well. So how do you handle the pressure of being a high profile Aikido sensei? Well, when we saw, we were reviewing the question, Nick was kind enough to give us questions beforehand <laughs> so we could be ready. <laughs> Um, when we reviewed that, we both kind of chuckled, um, I guess, in, in my mind, I guess what it was, was just, oh, high profile sensei, it sounds yeah. up there, but I guess we are becoming more and more high profile. My answer is, I don't know that I feel much difference of pressure between when I'm at my own dojo and some other dojo that I'm visiting, is that I try to put the bar at a certain level for myself as an instructor because I'm I've been told that I'm a fairly demanding instructor on the mat and off the mat about etiquette and and also workout and you know all of that so I pressure myself about certain things you know if I want my students to never be late then it's like ooh I better not whoa, I better hurry up <laughs> I don't want to be late so my <laughs> senpai told me uh, numerous times that it would be much easier for my students to pick up my bad habits than my good habits. So the pressure's on. And I've never forgotten those words. They, I was told that when I came back to start my own dojo 20 years ago. So I try to set the very best example I can, um, knowing that yeah, people will easily pick up my bad habits. If I'm late to the dojo once a year, then people will generally be late maybe once a month. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I'm late once a month, they're going to be late at least once a week. Mm -hmm. That's just one example, mm -hmm. you know. So I try to mm -hmm. set the bar high on myself. I don't know mm -hmm. if there's any difference for me when it comes to, you know, whether it's just at my own dojo or, or traveling around. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. First of all, I don't think that I have such a high profile. Uh, I'm just a practitioner like many others. And this is a core because, uh, so my, my school in Hamburg, called Shoshin Dojo. Shoshin mm -hmm. means beginner's mind. And I think I try to relax more and more on this idea of beginner's mind. So mm -hmm. if I, or if we, um, give up the idea to become an expert, uh, there's a great relief inside because mm -hmm. you can enjoy practice more. We understand it's not to achieve something outer, some, some outer uh, acknowledgement or something, but I can become more confident with my practice day by day. So I can practice mm -hmm for myself more and more from inside to outside and then whatever appears people they might like it or they might dislike it but the most interesting thing for me is practice itself so yeah. I want to improve my my practice every day I want to learn every day every day something new so my nature is like I don't like routine from mm -hmm. beginning I like change okay this means to give up stability sometimes and to really jump into the moment like now I don't like to be interviewed very much, but uh, okay, it's, an, it's a new challenge, it's an interesting moment. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to have you here. But um, I think this idea of Shushi and beginner's mind this helps in many occasions. It helped me in a lot of uh, exams and, uh, at university, so I'm a medical doctor and I had a lot of examinations all the time and I tried to lean into this more and more. Okay, what is now? So I can prepare myself, of course, and this is also now. and then we see what comes out. So now, 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 now. There are a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. new groups, other people, different um, ideas of uh, Kion, Kata, mm -hmm. and things like that. And um, yeah, but it's always now. So, okay, there's a challenge. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of feeling the pressure drain away from me. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about beginner's mind and not being an expert. Yeah. Now I'm just starting to teach some classes. Um, feels like what you're saying is it's it's okay not to know the answer to something. Right. Yeah. In and fact, explore it even more than yeah. the students that you know. I've I've traveled to dojos where you know maybe the the training space wasn't what I was expecting or what I was used to, or the people mm -hmm. weren't moving the way I was expecting, or you know I've seen teachers go up front and they try to force their typical training style into a situation or onto people mm -hmm. who it just isn't going to work and they get mm -hmm. more and more frustrated, students oh, yeah. get more and more frustrated. And uh, <clears throat> I remember one time teaching at the Philadelphia Dojo, uh, it was a tiny, tiny little, um, it was a garage actually they converted and then these really huge Russian guys showed up and they were moving very <laughs> differently than, than they were, but there was a bunch of them. <laughs> and the walls were so close 
But it was perfect. We started doing all this stuff actually using the walls, and uh, they had never seen it before. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, and my students, my regular students who had never seen me teach that theme, they, they loved it. And yeah, there's a real danger when you get to whatever it is in your mind. Oh, I'm Shodan now. Oh, I'm Fourth Dong now. Oh, I'm First Q now. Whatever that is. Like, oh, I have to know everything. I have to, you know. And uh, it's so much more powerful to, you know, students sensing, what about this? And, hmm, good question. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Let's investigate yeah. together. Yeah. Let's experiment together. I know from working with you that you often said that Takeda Shihan had that. Attitudes, that's his yeah. kind of teaching philosophy. Always experimenting, still now. And uh, he's not afraid to go through months or years where something is quote unquote not working. Mm -hmm. If he feels that there's something worth experimenting with, he just keeps on going mm -hmm. to see, okay, maybe it's not working this week, maybe if I try another month, another year, whatever. And it's been very inspiring for me. Yeah.